All right, let's just uh, play this clip. Um, John Huntsman has been named ambassador to Russia. Um, there is some very tough questions to be asked a, a guy like this. Uh, how could you work with the, um, just roll it back just a little bit. How could you work with the president of the United States? Um, what are the implications of what the Senate just announced yesterday? that uh, Russia was definitively uh, involved in, um, in influencing our election. And um, let's see if he gets asked these tough questions. Let's just roll the tape. Let's see who's uh, asking the questions of him. I love what you say about our military and my brothers. They're serving this country my and brothers. they're proud to do so. Why would she do you be? worry where the country is right oh, now? Pause that it. we are losing. <laughs> that's, that's his son, her daughter. That's that's John Huntsman's daughter. That's Abby Huntsman uh, talking about her and her brothers. Oh, man, this guy must be getting a huge grilling. Here we go. That sense of service. I think we are still the greatest country on the face of the earth when it comes to our commitment to service, our volunteer spirit. Show me another country in the world that turns out during a time of need where neighbors are helping neighbors and friends are helping friends. Yeah. Sorry to even talk. You're going to make me cry. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a unique place, and I don't think that we're right, less weak. Let today. me just—if you uh, didn't quite uh, catch what was going on there—he was choking up because apparently America is the only place in the world, the only country in the world, where neighbors, in the time of a, a tragedy, help other neighbors. We are. Don't you understand that? It's, <laughs> as Americans, we have a unique ability to see people. Who are getting harmed and to help them now uh, we have some european listeners on this program like now uh, people in great britain britain or we had a german uh, caller yesterday um, sometimes we have people from latin america uh, we have we have actually listeners all around the globe and let me just say to you folks i feel so badly <laughs> that you live in a society where if something bad happens to your fellow country people you, it doesn't even occur to you <laughs> to help them in any way. Well, let me actually just add my own version of this, which is you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I think it's pretty disgusting. I wish we could do the panoramic, like like w if we had the editing ability to do like one of those dumb like, you know, like tour of the world things, and it's just like translations from like Mandarin, German, Swahili. Like, sorry, buddy, got my own. Problem. <laughs> it's like neighbors right. from across the world right. refusing. <laughs> right, right. You see, in America, we're super unique. We actually uh, come to the aid of people who are in arm's way. Now, not totally. We don't go way overboard. It's not like we have our government do anything for people, like in that instance. No, and we shame them. We also, we shame them. I mean, we should also be clear on that. We shame them. I mean, if they're poor, we make them feel bad about it. But we do come and give them a can of beans. Uh, so just... <laughs> or better yet, just roll B-roll of Trump fucking throwing paper towels right, that. Right, right 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 that part we that that part we do we don't go way overboard but it's you know all right let's uh, continue to hear about i'm gonna break up a little bit when i contemplate just you disgusting people in great britain who don't help your neighbors person friends are helping friends you know, it's hard to even talk you're gonna about. make me cry don't do that it's a unique place and i don't think that we're less weak today uh, I think we're stronger. I really do. We have our divides. We have the issues that polarize people. But we also have some uh, central strengths that are our rallying points. I'm going to put you on the spot now. You speak fluent Mandarin. We know that. How is your Russian coming? Oh, wow. He was Both really put on the spot. Both of the toughest spot. languages you could probably well, ever try to learn. Well, <laughs> let, let, let me say that... Uh, my colleagues in the embassy mentioned the other day that my Russian is spoken with a Chinese accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just also add, we're, we're such a special country that uh, when um, we have a position that obviously is rather important ambassador to Russia, particularly at this time, 
we're going to we're not afraid to as a government to um, have the hard questions asked by us by our loving daughter who may you know start crying at the no I mean this is like uh, we're in f- this is I- something from like to actually do I guess a version of what he's doing but just bluntly like this is like Central Asian state television. Yeah, like this is literally like the political boss's daughter is a TV anchor. And well, are we going to see Ivanka? Ivanka now interview Donald. Uh, I have to say, I do find show? this father-daughter romance a lot more tasteful than that one. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> I've got a really hard question for you. You are brilliant, <laughs> <laughs> and being that brilliant, is it? Is it tough? Is it time consuming to be the world's greatest dad and the Mm. best ambassador in the history of the State Department? Dad, let me ask you this. (laughs) Do you think this is going to set you up for 2020? Oh, that's too on point. Sorry. Dad, when you say that there are polarizations on both sides, is that your way of doing a super classy version of their nice neo-Nazis? And Mm. what about the Antifa? Mm. In what other countries can... A father give his daughter a big interview with an ambassador to a country we're having a conflict with. We have an inner strength in this country. We have the ability to put a raging psychopath in charge of the world's, the history of the world's greatest killing machine. And on top of that, he can also knock off, you know, some people who've been living here for for 20 some odd years and send them back to a country that doesn't speak the language. (laughs) It's so amazing. That's a that's a strength. You know, you know what, sweetheart? We had special forces soldiers killed in operations in Africa last week for an authorization of a campaign against Al Qaeda, and things are so crazy that people don't even know what's happening. Did you know the chief of staff had their phone uh, (laughs) completely compromised? Do you think the president knows the difference between Niger and Nigeria? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I first wanted to be ambassador to Nambia, and, <laughs> and then I found out it didn't exist. Oh, God. Only in America could the president do a rambling, bizarre speech to a bunch of African heads of state, make up a country, and you know what? They couldn't say shit. Does anybody know when uh, they changed the weeks to be 42 days long? Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.